Child, the girls are saying that they're sick and tired of people using their photos for their business. Like, the people say they, they, they tired. They is tired. Like, they put all the work in and to, you know, showcase their stuff for their business. And y'all out there taking people stuff. Y'all out there advertising to other people's stuff. Girl, don't tell me you want... Girl, that's not you, huh? Child, let's talk about it. Hey, beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taj with Taj with the Emporium. And... Let's just jump on in this thing. So, it is frowned upon in this industry, right, to pretty much steal photos because that's really what it all boils down to do. And, and some some people are actually innocent. Um, they're doing it and don't even realize that they're doing it. Um, but I've seen over the years where a lot of, you know, popular boutiques or boutique owners are complaining that, you know, they see their photos on other boutiques' websites, on their social media, um, and, you know, it's frowned upon. I know as a new business owner, sometimes you may not know all the popular boutiques or, you know, I say popular, but you may not know the, you know, the popular boutiques or you may not know certain models and faces and be able to pinpoint what boutique they're representing and so forth and so on. And you, so, so when you ordering from a vendor, it's times where you may use a vendor photo, not knowing that the vendor photo is stolen. So that's when I, that's what I mean when I say like you could probably be innocent and as far as like your, you know what I'm saying, like purposely using other photos, but then child, they just got some people out there who who will go on other people's page and grab their photos and use them. Now that's a whole nother story because um, I can remember, and I'm not, I can remember um, a couple years ago, Facebook has this face recognition recognition thing, and I remember. Um, getting a notification saying that uh, I was, to, if I wanted, the, like I had the option to tag myself in a photo that someone posted of me. And I was kind of like, um, I didn't, I was like, hmm, a photo, you know, so I go click on the notification and I knew that the name didn't sound familiar. So when I click on it, long and behold, it was a photo of me, um, but it was one of my business photos and I used to when I when I used to so, um, post on social media I used to always put my local watermark like on my photos I no longer do that now but I used to do it and so where I would always put my logo the person actually took like a emoji and put on top of the logo so you wouldn't see the logo so apparently they were selling the same thing and wanted to use the photo and you know Whatever, girl. But you have popular boutiques that's really not don't like that. Like they don't want you, you know, and and which is understandable because it it takes a lot to you know do your get your makeup, you know, do your makeup, put your stuff together, take photos, you know. I mean, it's a lot that goes into you know photo shoots and putting and doing photos um, for your social media to showcase your merchandise whether it be clothes hair whatever there's effort that goes into it there's planning that goes into it and so for you to do that for your business and then somebody's promoting their business with your photos you feel some type of way not to mention is looks you know very shady and unprofessional but you know people they're still doing it child even even the the main the vendors distributors are doing it as well so you don't want to be caught up in nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and it's so, it's so many benefits that come from you using your own photos, right? So with all that being said, I am giving you my five reasons or my top five reasons why I just, you know, I use my own photos. I stop you five reasons why I stop using, you know, vendor photos. Okay. So reason number one. Customers want, or potential customers want to see someone that looks like them in photos. Most of the times when, when you are taking manufacturer photos, the models are not, 
your average everyday girl, okay? You have some that are not curvy at all. So if you are a curvy woman and you looking at an outfit that's on someone that's just straight up and down, some most of the times you kind of like, mm, that's not for me. I ain't gonna be able to fit that or I'm not gonna look right in that, right? Or if you see a model that is super, super curvy, super small waist, and you like, child, please, I, I, I ain't going to be able to fill that out like that. Then you'll keep scrolling. You'll keep passing. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times I find that people need to be able to see things on someone that pretty much looks like them or close to it. But not way off the scale, you know. And most of the time manufactured photos are like that. So, um, you want to... Uh, you want your customers or your potential customers to see you in the outfit because they can relate more from seeing you in something versus, you know, someone that don't look like them or not even close. You know what I'm saying? Or not even in the particular market that you trying to market to. So with that being said, you have a better chance of, you know, getting that sale, getting customers to your page, getting them to your website, if they see photos of you modeling your stuff, okay? So that's that's one thing about me. Um, I've had people over the years tell me, like when I first started out, I was, I had somebody else doing it. I didn't want me to, my face to be the face of my boutique. I don't know why, but I just didn't. So, um, so I had somebody else to do it and then it got to the point where, you know, with conflicting schedules and stuff like that, like just everything that goes into, you know, you trying to have someone to, to take photos for you. But anyway, I started doing it myself, basically, long story short, I started doing it myself and I found that it was even, it was easier because I could get in front of the camera. I know how I want my photos to look. I know what, what pose I, I don't have to like direct someone or tell someone especially if they're not like photogenic or you know stuff like that so it just it was more beneficial for me to do it and then I would get people to tell me like you should have been you know doing your own clothes or whatever so it's just better for me to use my own photos versus me using a manufactured photo okay so the second reason why I do not use vendor photos is you can set yourself apart by how you style something. So most of the times when you're ordering from a manufacturer or a distributor, they're pretty much just so showcasing the clothes and that's it. Like, it, let's say if it's a dress, then um, they have on the dress and, and just some little basic shoes and that's it, right? So if you have a customer or if you have a person or a potential customer or whoever, an individual that sees a dress on a model that doesn't even look like them, um, and they just see the dress a lot of times if the dress doesn't speak for itself or the outfit doesn't speak for itself they'll keep scrolling right but you have the opportunity to put your own little touch to it style it however you want to be able to sell it to someone else I don't know how many times I've gotten people who would say I would have I probably would have passed that up but then when they see me in it and how I style it it, it just opens up their, the door for so much more that could be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever gotten an outfit and then just put your own personal style to it and just kind of made put your own little twist to it? And it doesn't, when you, once you put it on, it doesn't look nothing like it looked when you saw it on the rack or when you saw it on the hanger or you saw it on someone's uh, website or what have you. You just have the opportunity to put your own little personal style and touch to it, which sets you apart from other boutiques or other businesses, right? If you, let's say you care, you, you are, um, let's say there's a, a jumpsuit that's really popular and several other boutiques have the jumpsuit, right? Which I don't recommend you don't get it because that's, that's what I try not to do. But let's just say, because somebody's gonna have it you know what i'm saying but let's just say other boutiques have this particular jumpsuit and everybody just pretty much wear it the same way you take that same jumpsuit put your own touch to it style it differently make it look different and 
bam, voila. It's, it, it may be the same actual jumpsuit, but once you put your own little personal style and touches to it, it becomes something else or it looks a, a totally different way, right? And then let's say if I'm a potential customer and I'm scrolling and I see, uh, or if I'm on someone's website and I see um, this jumpsuit with this this business and then I go and see that jumpsuit with that business. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the same jumpsuit. But then I go to your page and I see the same jumpsuit, but like, I'm like, hmm, that looks good. It's styled differently, right? And so you that's just a kind of little way to set yourself apart just about how you style it. That's why with my boutique, my my whole thing, um, which I always post on, on my social media is style over fashion. Because I feel like with fashion, although we do keep fashion in mind and trends in mind, um, I feel like trends have everybody looking the same. Everybody look alike. Everybody, I know where you, nine times out of ten, I know where you got the from. Like, everybody looks alike. But when you operate or, or when you dress according to your own personal style, that's something totally different, right? You don't have to worry about, oh, girl, I can't wear that um, this year because last year that was big and everybody knows that. No, I like to get pieces that my customers could wear this year, next year, whatever, you know, and even better if they could wear it in the fall and the winter and then break it out and dress it style different for the summer. You know, so I just believe in style over fashion. I believe in um, style versus tr uh, over trending, you know, what's trending. Now, you do want, as a business owner, you do want to keep those things in mind, but you don't want to just wholeheartedly just follow every little nick and trend because, I mean, then you're looking like everybody else. You're not setting yourself apart. So that's um, the reason number two why I do not use um, vendor photos. Um... Reason number three is potential customers know that you actually have the item on hand, okay? So, I have another video that's, um, I'm not sure if it's going to come up before or after this one, uh, talking about drop shipping. But with what we're talking about now is the fact that if I see you with it on, nine times out of ten, you have it in stock, on hand. When I order it, you can send it out, all right? So, that's that's even better you know what i'm saying like it's even better that if i see you with it i don't know how and now so here's another thing a lot of times i'll get customers local customers that will inbox me and say um do you have this on hand and i used to think that that was like bizarre for them to ask me that like what do you mean like if you see me in it like why wouldn't i have it but then you know i didn't know anything about drop drop shipping at the time this was like you know when i first started i didn't really know that much about drop shipping so I just didn't understand why that would be a question like do you have this in, do you have this on hand and my answer would always be yes everything that you see on my site if you see it on my website I got it if I don't have it it says so sold out but I don't never show anything or showcase anything um if I do not have it even if I have new arrivals coming in I'm not going to post it until I actually have it in hand in stock and ready to be shipped that's just how I operate. So that's so that's another thing. Like they know that you actually have this item on hand and ready to ship should they make a purchase. Okay. Reason number four is some distributors or manufacturers use stolen photos so you could potentially use another business photo on your website, which is what I said at the beginning of the video. There are so many, especially, especially these China. China um, hosted um, distributors and manufacturers like they'll use popular boutique photos because the model or you know Instagram looking models and they'll use those photos right and so the problem with that is when they use those type of photos then you know off back as the business owner by shopping with them that they that, that that's not their item that's not but apparently they're showcasing it because they have something um they're pretty much selling that item but what you have to think about the fact that they're making this item is it really going to look like this I can't tell you how many times I've seen online where uh, somebody will buy something because they look at a stolen photo and they'll purchase it like, oh, that look good. They'll purchase it from that manufacturer and when they get it, it's not cut the same, right? So that's why anytime if I'm shopping for clothing, 
Um, and I see them use a photo from a known boutique, then I, I won't even bother purchasing it. Or I won't even bother shopping with that particular um, vendor because nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm pretty much gambling my money. I don't know if it's going to be cut the same. I don't know if it's going to look the same because that's not, that that's not coming from you. That original photo isn't coming from you. You are duplicating the outfit in that photo. So if you, take the vendor's photo then you are potentially using someone's photo on your website or on your social media do you honestly think that that looks good that let's say i know um of a popular boutique and i'm always that i follow them their their uh posts are coming up on my timeline so at this point i know this boutique just by the photos okay and then i come across your website i get on your website and it's like oh let me see what she got and i'm scrolling through your website and i see several photos of the boutique owner or the boutique model um from you know from the model from the other boutique why would i want to shop with you because one that tells me that that's possibly you may not have this item on hand two it may not look exactly like it looks in the photo because that's not even your photo. So what you're selling me may not even fit the same. Three, you don't look legit. Why would I, why would I shop with you? All your photos on your website aren't even, they, like there's so many different people, shapes, models. I don't know what's going on. Now, mind you, if you sell glasses, shades, lashes, stuff like that, um, I could see why you would use a manufactured photo, especially if those photos are like flat lays or if it's just for like black, like shades and you just kind of like showing, you know, the face and it's a, it is a manufactured photo. Uh, I could see that. But I'm talking, I'm specifically talking about like clothing. Um, if you do hair. If you sell hair and you are using a manufactured photo like flat lays and stuff like that, um, I don't think there's a problem with it. But I do think it's a problem if you use the manufactured photo with the model showing the hair. Why? Because I don't know or you don't know if the hair is going to look the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, as a customer, I'm talking about, I don't know if the hair that you sell me or send me is going to look the same as the model on that, on that page. But if I see you as the business owner, or if I see one of your models with the hair, then I know that, okay, this is how this hair going to look. You understand what I'm saying? I hope I'm explaining that because I'm I, sometimes I can't be the best at explaining but I hope that makes sense like you want to make sure that you're showcasing your stuff so the customer or the potential customer are comfortable enough to order from you right and so reason number five is um kind of like what I touched on before you could show multiple ways to wear an item most people need to see something style before they buy it you know what I'm saying so it's times where I've had people to tell me um they'll see something but they gotta see it on someone in order to know if they can work with it you know what I'm saying like oh that that set is cute but I don't I don't know I, I gotta see it styled you have some people like myself like I can look at something and I can picture I'm a very visual, I can picture myself in it. I can picture what shoes and how it'll look. Most of the time, it comes out exactly how I can picture it in my head, right? But there are some people that they can't do that. They have to see it on you. They have to see it on someone, put together, accessorize and everything. Like they have to see the full picture before they can determine if they can actually do anything with it or if they can actually um, pass, it on, pass it off as something that they can wear. If you're just putting on um, a dress and it's just a dress and that's it, but you don't try to put your own touches to it, style it, accessorize it, show yourself in, in different multiple ways, multiple ways that you can wear it, then you kind of like, I feel like you are um, kind of setting yourself up to where you could possibly get a sale, but you won't because you, you're just basically 
just that basic. You you just taking something, taking a dress, putting a dress on, right? Taking photos and then uploading it is just as bad, in my opinion, as using a manufactured photo. Because if you didn't do nothing to it, then how is that setting your business or your boutique apart from everybody else? Like you want your boutique to have a certain look, right? Mine's a style of a fashion. I like jazzy looks. I like comfortable looks, right? So with my boutique, you'll see jazzy, comfortable looks. Um, if I just take a photo and of, of a dress and that's it, it's kind of like playing. I'm not putting my own personal touch to it. I'm, I will begin to look like everybody else. You have to be able to put your own style to your clothing or whatever the product is, even if it's hair. Style it. Make it look good. If it's shades, do your makeup. Put you some lip gloss on if you don't wear makeup or whatever. And do you like you, there's ways that you can put your own personal touch to things to be able to sell it to the customer. Right, because that's basically what it's about. You need to make it look good for the people that you're trying to sell to, to your target audience, right? And so if you just be basic with it, nine times out of ten, people are gonna keep scrolling, they're gonna keep passing it up. You want somebody to look at scroll and see it and be like, Oh, okay. Oh, she wear it like this. I wouldn't even thought that I could do that. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want those type of looks. You want those type of responses. So stay away from vendor photos if you can. I know sometimes it's not possible. Um, or sometimes it's just, you know, let me say this. Don't do it because you're being lazy. Don't do it because you just don't feel like taking photos. Don't go on other people's social media and take their photos or go on their website and take their photos. Nine times out of ten, the photos that are being stolen are popular boutiques that are known and people are going to know that it's not your photo. People are going to know that it's not your photo. So, you want to look professional and using other boutiques on your website is not professional. Using other boutiques photos on your social media is not professional. And the last thing you want, the last thing you want. It's for that boutique customers and followers to come to your page and start calling you out in your comment section. I'm telling you, I've seen it happen. Do not do that. Take the time out to plan some photo shoots. You don't have to do all. I take photos with my phone or my iPad. Take some time out to take photos. Take your own photos. You do not have you. There's so many videos on YouTube on how you can, um, you know, take your own photos, get backdrops. Like it's just it's it's not as hard as you may think. But if you are one of these like boutiques that's starting out and you just kind of like trying to find your way, I get it. But you still have to put the work in. You still have to put the work in. It's times that I'll have inventory just sitting there because I'm like, I ain't, I ain't for it today. It is too much. It takes too much. Child, I ain't, I ain't for it. But guess what? It'll sit right there until I'm for it because I'm not going to use anybody else's photos and, I'm, and I don't use um, vendor photos. Okay? So those are the reasons why I do not use vendor photos. And if you using vendor photos, please stop. Or if you are using other boutique photos, Please stop. If you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Ciao.